Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Notion for Pastors. Again, my name is Javon, and I've been talking a little bit about Notion. And so if you guys don't know what Notion is, again, Notion is a beast of a software. I don't even know what kind of category to really put the software um, into, but essentially it lets you create all different types of products for your function and for your use case. So here at Notion for Pastors, I am actually going to do a really simple, quick uh, tutorial on just one particular use case and application that you as a pastor, a minister, or someone who uh, manages teams can use quickly and simple. So with that being said, let's jump in. Now, what you need to do first, obviously, is go to Notion um, and their website and actually download Notion, create an account. Notion is free uh, for life. If you have uh, one of the tiers that you're not going to be consistently building um, different things, if you are going to be more and more consistently building other things or want someone else to kind of help come in and build other things, which I do as well, then you may want to actually purchase a pay for account. Now, uh, if you do want to do that, the link will be in the description. I am also a Notion affiliate, so uh, I don't get a kickback um, like money wise, but I get a discount off my um, Notion price every month that I pay for for my own uh, subscription. So go ahead, go down to the description, go ahead and get that link, that affiliate link, make your boy happy. And also, or you could just go down to the website at Notion and you can download it yourself, create an account and get all set up. So basically what you want to do here is when you jump in to Notion, you want to go here to the left side where it says new page. So we're just going to go ahead and click that, create a new page. And then it's going to ask you again, what do you want to name it? I would love to just say um, this is going to be a test staff roster. OK, so let's go test staff roster. Now I want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this right here. So again, right now it says it's a test staff roster. So let's just say hypothetically, you have four people on your staff. Here uh, with Notion, you can select templates that are already pre-built uh, by other Notion template creators or Notion the company themselves. Uh, you can click a simple table, you can click a board view, you can click a timeline view, a calendar view, a list view, and a gallery view. Again, Notion allows you to be able to look at the same type of information, but contextual and also based off of how either it makes sense to you on how you view it or what it makes sense for, for the viewer or the person who's interacting with it. So for me personally, um, what I like to do is click empty page because if I click empty page, then I can start to build all a whole bunch of different things. But um, at the end of the day, I probably want to go with a um, I think I want to go with a uh, just a regular empty page and then create something that's called a inline database. And Notion is really, really simple, very, very powerful. But here's how you do it. You're going to go ahead and click on empty page. And if you see here, this prompt where it says press space for AI, they do have artificial intelligence built in, which is another great feature. And I can show you guys as well some other use cases uh, or you press the backward slash, uh, which essentially opens up everything to where you get to tell it what to do. So I hit the backslash. And then all of a sudden it's going to ask me, what do I want to do? <laughs> this is amazing. And so right now I want to create an inline database. So what I can just start to write is I N L. And then there we go. I found an inline database. So I'm going to click that and I want to name this right here in untitled. I want to name this test staff roster. OK, and now that we have this test staff staff roster here, I actually don't want to see this um, label right here. So I'm going to click right here, these three dots and hide the database um, title. Now, where this says name, this is probably where um, I would put that actual person's name. So since we don't maybe know um, this on this test staff roster, the people's actual name, what we're actually going to do is just write lead pastor executive pastor and worship pastor or you know admin pastor or whatnot so let's go ahead and enter that in so let's just say lead pastor is name 
we have executive and pastor. So we have a worship pastor. And then let's just say hypothetically we have, I don't know, let's just say a youth pastor. So right here in this next um, place here, here called tags, what we wanna do is actually go ahead and delete this property. Um, again, it says deleting this property for everyone on test staff roster, yes. Um, don't freak out yet, um, it's great. All you have to do is if you wanna create another uh, another piece um, or another you know property, all you do is collect the plus sign and then it'll bring up all of the different types. Um, of things uh, that you could essentially pick through. So let's just say if I wanted to have someone's phone number, um, each one of their phone numbers to make sure I could contact them, let's just say hypothetically, you know, on a Sunday morning if something crazy happened or if I have a question. So I go ahead and click on phone, and then now all of a sudden it, it says someone's phone number. So now I can enter in someone's phone number. Um, let's just say, because I'm in Seattle, it's gonna be 206, it's going to be the old school 555-5555. And then let's just say since they're all at the same church, um, they all have the same number. Now that's not true, but you know they can have it um, for this use case. So you just go ahead and grab that little dot and bring it down to the bottom. And then again, now you see youth pastor, you see worship pastor, and then now, boom, you have a team roster now here's where the magic happens so if you go over here to these three dots right here you're going to click this and for me right here where it says layout right now this template is in a uh, table layout but I actually want to change this table layout to a gallery layout. The reason why I like to use uh, gallery layouts when it comes to rosters is because I'm a visual person and I like to see the person's face so I'm going to go ahead and click gallery and then you see what it did here all of a sudden it put every person in four different quadrants now what I can do is I can continually look at this information however I want to look at it and if I want to see their phone numbers and they're not showing up here all I'm gonna do is go here and then I am going to go to properties that are shown and once I click this, you're going to see that it says right now it's hidden and I can click this eye icon to actually unlock it so you can be seen here on the general screen. So watch when I do it. If I click the click the eye, all of a sudden now you see the person's um, phone number. And here's where it gets kind of fun is. Say, for example, um, you know, our lead pastor loves sports. So if I'm going to go ahead and click in here. I can add a cover and let's just say um, we're going to change this cover and let's go to Unsplash. Unsplash, if you're not familiar with Unsplash, Unsplash is a royalty free website that allows you to download high quality uh, images. And so that's they're one of many um, platforms. I would definitely say check them out. Um, they have a lot of great high quality photos. And so since we said the lead pastor, he loves sports. Let's just go ahead and type in here football because who doesn't like football i'm getting lots of feet in here that's, that's kind of weird i need i need football all right so we got we got this guy oh so let's go ahead and pick mick mckay so we're going to go ahead and click that and then now all of a sudden you see how the picture has shown up here now, if you want to change the position of the photo, you go ahead and click reposition and then you can drag it down. So now I can see the person's face. So let's just say hypothetically, that's Mr. Football lead pastor. I save the save it. And then now I click back out and let's do the same thing for the executive pastor. Let's go to add a cover. Let's say, um, let, you know, we're going to get kind of, you know, like. We're going to get not judgmental, but we're going to be profiling people pretty hard here. So let's just say, um, let's see if they have any Excel because they see he's an executive pastor. Maybe he likes numbers. All right. So boom, there you go. Charts and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I, I don't like all that stuff, but you know, Hey, I'm also an executive pastor too. And this is helpful for me. So boom, we have this right here. Um, 
Now this is the cover image for Executive Pastor. Now let's go to Worship Pastor. Worship Pastor, let's say that they like guitars and they like music. So let's go ahead and change this one. Let's type in guitar. Boom. Found the picture of a guitar. There it is. And then let's see Youth Pastor. Youth Pastors, I think love fog machines, confetti, um, I'm just joking. I also used to be a youth pastor too, so don't trip. I'm not hating. I'm just saying it like it is. Fog machines are dope. We don't really use them at our church anymore. Um, actually, we don't use them at our church anymore. I'm trying to convince the lead pastor, but he hasn't said yes yet. And neither has his wife. So we'll see what happens. So if we're going to go ahead for youth pastor. Let's just say like maybe a cool, like, I don't know. Let's just say a party. Cause it always seems like amazing party and kids having fun and people going around and everything like that. So let's go ahead and click this one right here. You know, everyone's got hearts up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this picture, but we're going to go with it. So again, once we click out of there again, we had just picked four pictures, um, that are more contextual to each person. But it, what if we wanted to see those, and let's just say hypothetically, those pictures were actually headshots. Um, what we can do now is go over to these three dots again, go over to the layout. Since it's a gallery layout, we're gonna click gallery. And then we want to hit card preview, the page content, or page cover. Remember, we added this in the page cover section. And if you want to know what the page content section is, this right here on the bottom is what the page content is. This is the page cover. So when you're looking at a gallery view, you can decide, do you want images or information to show up from the content level down below or the cover? image or the cover information, which would be right here on the top. So we're going to click out of that. And again, we're going to go back here to those three dots. We're going to click uh, gallery. We're going to click page content and we're going to pick page cover because that's where we put the pictures. Remember? So put it on page cover. Boom. Now you see all of the pictures show up all of a sudden. And let's just say I want these a little bit bigger, these um, gallery images. I'm going to go ahead and hit that and click large. So it'll go ahead and scale it and make it a little bit large. Um, one thing to note that if you'd like it to be a little bit larger, you're going to go over to the top right and you're going to click full width. And now it has taken your staff roster. And now all of a sudden you have created a staff roster give yourselves a hand of applause you have just done it this is one of the applications and ways that you can use notion as a church planter as a pastor um, as a, a, a person who works and serves in the church inside and out i use this um with my um um, flagship program called um, Anchor Church OS. I have built actual um, a CRM or a CHMS into Anchor Church OS using the page cover or page content, actually. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not that, it's files and media. So, um, again, it's that simple. So this is the power of Notion. This is the power that you guys have. You just created a very, very simple staff team roster if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below um, stay tuned click that like and subscribe button and i'll have more tutorials and more things popping off on notion and some of the other cool productivity tools that i also use as well as workflows for creating sermon series graphics sermon series slides so thank you guys for watching see you guys later at notion for pastors deuces